All right, so number nine, we have a calculator is dropped from an initial height of 475 feet. Using the position equation, S equals negative 16 T squared plus D sub zero times T plus S sub zero, where D sub zero is the initial velocity in seconds, and S sub zero is the initial height in feet. Find all those things, and it says C, which means we can use a calculator. So we're given the position equation. All right, S is the height, T is time, in feet and in seconds, and then VO is the initial velocity. So if the calculator is just dropped, all right, it's not thrown, it's dropped, then the initial velocity is gonna be zero. And the initial height is given as 475 feet. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my home screen, open up a new document that's a calculator. And I'm gonna type in a function. I'm gonna type of, I'm gonna type S parentheses T, close the parentheses, go outside of it, and I'm going to hit colon equals. So control and this button next to the nine. That's going to define my function. Then I'm going to type it in. Negative, well, negative sign, negative sign, not minus. Negative 16 times t squared plus 475. I don't need to type in zero times t. I could, but it's going to be zero anyway. So I could do it. And then if I type in S of T, it now has it simplified for me. So write an equation that gives the height at any time. All right, that's your answer right there for A. All right, if you want to put it in standard form, S of T equals negative 16 T squared plus 475, that works too. All right, find the height after 1.5 seconds. So find S when T is 1.5. We can do S of 1.5, and it gives us the height. Now, you can also graph it. You can do control plus page, add a graph. Realize that I'm adding a page without deleting this page, which allows me to keep this function defined, S of T. So now I could graph S of T without typing out everything. And it'll graph it for me. Now you can't see it because it's, I know why we can't see it, because it is not in terms of X. So we should put it in terms of X. So you get 475 minus 16 x squared. So you have to do it in terms of like f and x for it to graph. So I'm gonna delete that and do negative 16 x squared plus 475. So it won't graph if you have it in terms of other variables other than x and y. Okay, so now you can see it. Now the maximum height was 475. So I wanna zoom out so I see it. But I don't want to zoom out with the zoom out button because then my graph gets too narrow. All right. So instead, I'm going to go back to my standard window and then just change my window settings so that the Y maximum is greater than 475. So I'll make it 500. And X, I'm going to make that like negative two because I don't need to see negative X values because that's for time. So I don't care about going back in time. And now I get a much clearer picture of my graph. So if you want to find the height after 1.5 seconds, you could also graph it and do trace. And then you could, you could arrow left and right until you get to 1.5. Or you can start typing in 1.5, and it'll find 0.475. All right? The maximum height is 475, because that's where it's dropped from. You can also find that by doing menu, analyze graph, maximum. Doing the lower bound to the left of the maximum the upper bound to the right of the maximum, and it'll find you the maximum point on that interval. All right, find when the ball hits the ground. All right, that's gonna be when the height is zero. So that's when Y is zero, so that's the X intercept. So I'm gonna do menu, analyze graph, zero. Go to the left of the zero, go to the right of the zero, and we get our answer for D. The ball will hit the ground at 5.45 seconds. Now that second number here, negative 5.82 e to the negative 11th, all right, that is a number that's essentially zero. It means e to the negative 11 is scientific notation. It means you move the decimal place to the left 11 times. So if the calculator is having trouble finding the exact zero, it's approximating it as close as you can. All right, then sketch the graph with detailed axes. You could just kind of copy this right here. And by detailed axes, it means plot the zero, plot the y-intercept, and then sketch that picture, all right? And that's how you do nine. All right, use the calculator, get good at it so that you can use it more efficiently as the year goes on.